Eddie Spaghetti, what's going on, man? Hey, not much. I am actually uh, having Avatar The Last Airbender playing in the uh, background while playing a game on my phone. That's a fun way to start the day, man. <laughs> or end the day, perhaps. It um, is. It's more ending the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was. I actually was watching um, Ye Ye Criterion. <laughs> By Edward Yang. Yee yee, man. That's uh, one of your, is it a film you like? Uh, I know uh, Edward Yang. It's like a four-hour film, right? Uh, yee yee, I think is three hours. A brighter summer's day, I think was four. Yeah, that's uh, that's. But I really, really liked Brighter Summer's Day. Um, more than yee yee. I. I don't know, man. Yee Yee is on par to match it. So. That's that's good, man. Uh, the state of cinema, Ed. The state of cinema. The state of the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy boy. Jolly boy, man. You you super uh, you you're super into all the the Oscars that are going on. <laughs> Uh, uh, I knew they were happening, but I didn't. I know. That was, that was a joke. Uh, <laughs> um, I just talked to uh, Ed, but my phone mysteriously died like three times in a row, even though it had like 15 battery. Uh, yeah, because you never charge, man. That's what it was, uh, I think it was, the battery. I think it's the cold. I was outside in the cold. I don't know. Does, does the cold does that mess up the battery? It has a battery. It can't, it can, like... It, like, fritz down. It was cold. weird. And then it came back. But... I'm just juiced, man. I'm juiced on cinema right now. I was just thinking about it, and you know, Joel Haver's doing his movie and all that stuff. I don't know. I was just thinking about it, and it just Cody made some tweet about how you know Hollywood's this is the gas, the last gasp of Hollywood, basically. Uh, <laughs> just, 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 I don't know. Like even the set design, like the the production design of it, looks like they're in like a like a kids theater production. I didn't watch them either, man. I was completely. I had no idea. I thought it was. I, I thought it was gonna be later. Yeah. Uh, I don't no, there, know why. Uh, don't even tune in. Don't even tune in. It's just. Who cares, man? Who cares? You, 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 you probably got more uh, cinema education watching Yee Yee and uh, The Last Airbender, in, in my opinion. Probably. Probably. Um, yeah, although I did hear there were a couple of movies nominated this year, like, um, I don't know, like Nomadland and uh, like Kill Billy Elegy that seemed like more independent stuff is uh, being recognized. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. I didn't really like Nomadland, just the concept of it. I feel like kind of is almost plagiarizing or, or taking some of that folk filmmaking spirit and, I don't know, almost not perverting it, but maybe like diluting it. I can, I can see that. Like you know, or it, maybe it's taking the movement and sort of putting it in the mainstream, so people realize, oh, there's more to it than just big blockbusters. And then maybe they will then look out for more independent folk yeah. like you and Joel Haver and yeah, Cody Clark and stuff. I don't know. I mean, that's the hope. I mean, if if anything. Uh, uh -huh. That that's the I would say the most optimistic takeaway from it. Are you serious? Yeah, it looks terrible. It looks t it's like they're in like a small little room. It looks like, um, yeah, it's it looks it's, it look it looks just really goofy. Hmm. Um, I was just thinking about it. And I, know. I don't know. I don't know. I was just thinking about the whole the whole situation and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm starting getting really, really motivated to just, uh, I don't know, for us to take over and to uh, do everything we can hey, to man, just Hollywood, tell... uh, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, keep on. No, you, you were saying something. You go first. You had something to say. I was just going to kind of regurgitate. No, I was just saying, hey, you know. You know, someone had to lay the groundwork. I'm glad Hollywood. Good on you, Hollywood. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for rolling out the red carpet for us. Yeah. Getting everything ready. Yeah, that's, uh, 
that I don't know. It, it feels like so much of what's happened, at least in the last few years, maybe the last two years since we sort of got on the scene and all these people got on the scene, it just feels like there's this big shift that I just, I don't know, it just feels palpable. I don't know. And I'm, I'm starting to get to that that point where I, I told Cody, I said, I guarantee you within like the next two months, one of us, I said, whether it's you guys doomed, you know, you and, you and Chloe doomed, RC films, us, you know, there's going to be another, you know, replication of a, of a big uh, folk filmmaker coming very soon. And like another one getting, getting off, pop, popping off from some sort of thing. And I, 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 I don't know. I think that energy is just in the room and, and I don't know, I was absurping sort of that, uh, you know, no further is it exemplified than in how like Nomad Land, me and Ed were talking about it. I mean, it is Hollywood. It is still Hollywood, so I mean, pessimism is certainly due. Um, but really, I guess time it's time will tell. Definitely. What effect it has, but yeah, I mean. But yeah, you have every right to be pessimist. <laughs> and Ed was saying how it basically felt like a folk film. I said, and I said to Ed, I said. Uh, that, that's that's by design, you know. Like they're 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 starting to catch on, you know. That, that that people want more authentic cinema. I said, but the problem is they don't know how to do authentic. They know how to do you know big blockbusters with guns and action and stuff. They they they, they don't do the authentic stuff as I think as pure as as what we can get from folk filmmaking. I don't know why. I just felt like calling you today, and uh, I wanted to uh, talk about cinema. I was feeling. Uh, that is a good thing. How's your, how's your, I'm glad you did. How's your film coming? Uh, I mean, it's, it's coming along. I haven't filmed anything since we last talked. I have been thinking about it, though, and one of the, actually, one of the scenes I filmed, I'm thinking about, um, about cutting. Yeah. Um, because I think last time we talked, you know, I mentioned I was thinking that both clones would be kind of discovering the truth alongside each other. Yeah. But I think it'd be more interesting if the one that had already existed. I've, re- I've recently, I've recently just checked out in like just in terms of like I don't really care. Like, I don't care about big movies coming up. Yeah. I don't watch the, these award shows. I like to see their ads. And from, you can't really tell. All you can tell is how many ads are playing. I was like, there's like if, if the ad is everywhere, okay, you know they have a big budget for it. Yeah. On Twitch, I see the ad for the stupid show or movie. If I see it, you know, on YouTube, now I'm seeing it now on the TV. I'm like, okay. You're seeing it. They got a lot of money, but other than that, just even just it, it, with 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 the whole ads thing too. Just because you see a crap ton of ads does not even mean that it's going to be it's going to do well in, in theaters. The other people, but the person who got past him doesn't know that. He just still he still thinks that the existing clone is a kill, a murderous psychopath, right? So he, when they end up coming together, the one that's been killing, he he now wants peace. He realizes he doesn't have to fight back. But the one who got past him thinks the other one wants to kill him and so he ends up starting the fight when the previously existing one wants to stop the fight but let's be honest how much of how much of um, the hype behind oh my gosh everyone's seeing this you know like <laughs> it's just theater generated from the ads <laughs> well 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 the thing was Hype used to be really, really important. Is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like extremely important. Now, as I'm as I'm explaining this, I don't know, now know who I want to be the survive. Who's the, the, the surviving? Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, see the? Either way. Did Sorry, you see ahead. the teaser I I sent you about uh, Chlorine Two? Uh, the on Patreon um, about the the final scene, or or were you avoiding that just because? Oh of... no! With the uh, with the. Uh... Would you cut together with Good Men Deadly? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that. That was good. Dude, I'm just... 
I'm juiced, man. I don't know. I'm just juiced right now about talking about film and, and I've really been feeling uh, inspired just to keep, I don't know, keep going. I, I, I was just thinking about it and just, you know, I think you, like your film, my film, you know, what, what we're doing with 12 features and where we're going with it. I don't know. And I know you, you know, you're talking about moving away, but I feel like we have so much time in between now and before you uh, move. Uh, some of the best work we'll, we'll probably ever make, you know, is going to be in this this next period. I think you're right. You know, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see uh, what, what happens. Uh, you know, I think, yeah, even if you do move a, move away, I think that you're going you're gonna to make some great stuff. And I really just think that the motivation that you're going to gain from just going through the 12 features with me and Joel, I think it's going to just propel you wherever you go, you know, to... To, yeah, gr to great know. to great lengths uh, you know I'm, I'm excited for you wherever you go and i know me and joel were kind of teasing joking on the last time we talked but i wanted to call you and say like you know i'm excited for you man whatever whatever you wherever you are you know it's, you're going to do some great work um yeah well thank you man that means that means a lot you know, and, and now it's just, it doesn't do anything yeah i just feel like they i feel like the ads are, are i don't know are slowly losing their their power or their yeah, control over the audience, they're, and they're and they're desperate. And then they would say like, and when I was telling you, when I was telling Cody about about that person in L.A. that said that that didn't have an answer as to, as to why they're losing viewers. Yeah, to, to yeah, TV that's why, and that's why no one's going to the theaters anymore. Yeah, it, it was some. It was some, I, I forgot exactly what it was, but it was the it was the most bullshit answer I've ever heard in my life. It was like. Oh, people just, um, I said, is it just, be like, she wouldn't even say that it was, like, Netflix in Prime. Like, at least say that it was Netflix in Prime. Yeah, like, that's Everyone's Lisa. Everyone wants rather watch it at home, it's easily accessible. That's what I was expecting her to say. It's a no-duh answer. Goes, it was like, oh, no, that's the way we want it to be. You're, yeah. you're, you're like, probably, uh, you know, besides, besides Joel, you and Joel are probably my two, are my two favorite filmmakers, you know? And uh, I know we all don't have a huge body of work yet, but it's going to build up. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, filming Chlorine, I don't think there was any more fun time than, like, getting uh, a ton of stuff shot. I mean, not, not talk Chlorine, I'm talking about Long Con, what am I saying? Um, Long Con, <laughs> getting those ice creams afterwards and chilling, I think that was, like, the best time uh, a friend could ever have, you know? I, I agree, hundred yeah. percent. What? Yeah. No, they don't. I it mean, like, they, like, they wish they could. Was like, I don't know. They want to get your greasy popcorn and uh, and your uh, super chug style drink, uh, where they can make sixty percent margins on that or whatever. They can make they make some they make some sort of margin on that too. So yeah, they they, they I mean they they totally dislike that they don't have that control anymore. And I think I even said I said I said you don't think it's 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 the prevalence of Netflix be the way people can watch it outside of their homes. I said you don't think it's because there's less content being pushed up by Hollywood. And I was like, oh no, oh no, that's just that's just just what was it? What, what, what's it when? Uh, it, it, basically, what you're saying is it was all according to plan. All according to plan. In general, have you sort of besides this uh, this clone movie? Are you kind of sort of working on anything? Uh, else in mind like that documentary are you working on any of that stuff uh i know you were working on the documentary for the the theater at some point and i don't know wherever that wherever the status of that went oh the, the yeah the nutcracker yeah um yeah i've been I, i've kind of fallen off in editing that again um it's actually up on my computer now um that's funny but it, yeah I, I I have it open, no, just so when I'm motivated to edit, no, it's there for me to edit. <laughs> That's smart. Um, yeah. How's your I, computer? Is it, is it it can handle it now, right? Or is it? Are you still having issues with that? Oh no no! I, I got a new computer. And yeah, I remember. It runs flawless. That's right now. it's. Yeah, it's I'm great. actually gonna be picking up my brother's computer probably in a couple. Um, in a couple weeks. I'm probably going to be picking up his computer, and I'm going to be, as Joel says, uh, editing Unleashed, basically. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, I know, you know. Yeah, 
exactly. I was like, what? Yeah, no, no. They, that, like, that, that implies that Hollywood has uh, has uh, some super geniuses back there, and I, I, I don't think that's the case. I think it's a, a case of a lot of people with a lot of money throwing their weight around rather than uh, some super genius that's like, yeah, well, this is exactly how we planned it. You know, obviously, you know, there are going to be companies making a killing off Amazon, Netflix, you know, and there's someone's going to make a killing off of that, but... Um, they're definitely well. The the grip is is starting to to loosen a little bit. They're not. They don't have as much of a, because once you go to from from theaters to television to streaming, what is that? You know, now you've made it so that anyone can compete if they can get on a streaming platform, which is infinitesimally easier for the independent viewer to do, like to make their own work and put it out that way, rather than getting it into a theater. You know what I mean? Like, see how far it's it's fell. You know, before it was, you have to get, if you're not in a theater, you're not a movie. You're, like, you don't even get to count as a movie, because no one will see it. A, a better computer makes all the difference in the uh, world. Like, yeah. when I was, at, like, when I was editing on that laptop, it was torture. Like, I yeah. despised editing, like, with a passion. But after I got a new computer, I'm like, no, editing isn't horrible. Like, it's actually not the worst. Did you get a key to get in? Uh, no, not gonna work. Okay, gotcha. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, in terms of the editing, uh, yeah, for me, I mean, I, when I did uh, Sheep Theater, I mean, I almost lost the whole film. Mm. I, I mean, literally, there was a. Then you had oh, you have to get on Netflix. You had to get on Amazon. These big, these big you know, platforms, or you have to be on television and all that stuff. And then that went away. And now it's, you literally have to just be streaming on just one of the major platforms. Prime, YouTube, you know, Apple TV, or any of these, uh, you know, all these things. You, once you're streaming on one of them, you, you compete with the big boys, you know. At least in theory. They literally, the, like, the color correction was, it was baked, it was baked into the color correction. Um, it was, it was, it was literal purple cinema. <laughs> dude, I would freak out. I would have to, uh, I dude, have I was, dude, I almost threw my computer, like, the screen and, like, threw it. I was that, that upset, um, right now, and my computer's, yeah, just on its last leg. I mean, it's literally got, like, a freaking grate that's, like, punched into the wall. <laughs> like, it's, like, like, into the, into the computer. It's, it's just terrible, but, um. I, I like, I, as so, I, was, I was dumbfounded that as someone who... Who is literally paid? That's her job. To, 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 she was literally paid to figure out what's you know to anticipate how the market's going to be. Yeah. And like what what what, what forces like how was there no one asking these questions? It just like I was just I was just like really was like, well, like, like that's it. <laughs> what are you here for? Yeah. Well, like, why why are you? Why do you exist? Yeah. What is your purpose? I'm not gonna say that. I'm in this class talk, asking random. Well, questions. yeah. I mean, they're clearly trying the to, you know, they're trying to be nice to you because they're clearly teaching some class. But yeah, internally, you can think that. And internally, I mean, and I imagine you're not the only person. You know, obviously, I don't think all of your students bent towards the, you know, fuck Hollywood sort of mindset. Um, oh no, I'm I'm the I'm in the minority. Yeah, I mean, but I mean. Let's be real, we both have always been that way, you know, in terms of the majority of people will be like, you know, Hollywood, please, thing uh, coming forward with uh, with 12 features. Um, I'm, I'm excited to potentially, I mean, just one of these, one of these would be fun to do, like go to Joel's apartment and do a 48 hour. Or... I don't know, maybe it's the like, you know what's funny is that I feel like the majority of that comes from Hollywood. Now that would be something that would be fun, I know. I have my one one shot uh, movie as well, so I don't know. But there, there's some, but I'm nervous, you know. I don't know. I don't have enough of the stuff ready, you know. <laughs> that, well, that's normal. Yeah, I don't think I've ever felt this much like down. I don't know. I think it's just because I got through the three films, and now there's this huge chasm for between like where I am right now and where it's where it's going. I don't know. I, I'm a little nervous about it, but I, I'm excited to see where. That... Let's be honest. I think a majority of that even mindset is created by Hollywood. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, 
you're, you're talking it's about like a corporation versus you. You know, it's like well, yeah, who I mean, the world. It's you against the why do you think they hated Lucas so much? You know, in some way, like why do you think they wanted to buy Disney? Wanted to buy it from them because it's the one property where he owned everything. He owned the rights. He owned the merchandise. He did the movie outside of the DGA. He did everything as a, you know, he, he, he basically went to the banks and used a loan on his own money for The Empire Strikes Back. So every... Donnie, man, you need to have, dude, you need to have a, a segment where you say learning from Lucas. I'm telling you, man. That would be a great idea. That's a, Learning that's a... from Lucas, man. Yeah, well, I mean, dude, I mean, honestly, knowing you, you will take that nervousness and you will, like, I think that motivates you to a large extent. Like, the unknown, you take that as a challenge and you turn that into... Just just the mindset that this man had. He had the vision to see that he had something special. And not only that, he retained the rights to it. And then, you know, the number one thing I will never take away from the prequels. I, you know, you know, I'm not... I, I've, I've grown to love uh, episode three and, and I do like episode one. Episode two is still kind of meh. But... Um, yeah, the one the one thing uh I've learned from him is just that, you know, he never he he retained full control on those prequels. Those were his films. Those were George Lucas's baby. You he you were never getting those away from him. And he 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 never and you know, critics be damned, I I wouldn't even be surprised if there was a specific tanking of his movie intentionally, like if I'm being real. I, I, was, I was talking to Catherine about this, like with my with my solo film, and I guess with my solo film, it's a little different. Yeah. But um, I kind of gave up on trying to make it a masterpiece, and yeah. just I'm just wanting to finish it. Yeah. And the very fact, the just the act of making a movie is in itself an accomplishment. You know. Yeah, it's it's something to be beholden to. I guess uh, you know, it's just something great to even get it out there you know mm -hmm. um, i mean i'm excited for your movie and i you know regardless of the quality of whatever happens to it i think it's going to be something that people are impressed with just because making any film in quarantine is is definitely a difficult task i was about to say something about that i was like i wonder how much of the uh, the hate of the of the prequels is is, is was generated uh through the press and through the media um how was i going to say non-authentically Yes, yeah, and I'm, and I'm not uh, saying, and I'm not saying that, they, that you you can't critique those movies, but um, I don't know. I have a, I have that that, that sort of conspiracy in the back of my head of like, uh, he, he 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 really spoke uh, truth to power in terms of like he made his own franchise, he retained the merchandising rights, he was able to 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 fund it basically himself. He did it outside of the union system. You know how how much more indie film folk filmmaker in terms of a grand scale, he really kind of set those values very early on, um, and I'll always be thankful for that. And I think that is probably why he was only willing to sell Star Wars for like four fucking billion dollars. <laughs> I like your shirt. <laughs> Sorry, this is my my, my neighbor. This is my neighbors over here. Um, mm. But yeah, I'm 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 excited. I think that uh, whatever you end up uh, putting out with that, I, I I think there's a movie. There's another movie in the folk filmmaking movement that some guy who just posted it the other day, and it's got clones in it. Uh, you should I'll send it to you. I think you, you'd like it. I think it would uh, help you, inspire you in terms of where you want to go with the story. Um, Definitely, yeah. It just uh, came out important. literally yesterday, and I was talking to him about it, and so it was uh, pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> Nice, my, nice. my my neighbor's slipping by. <laughs> how have you guys been? Good. I am good. So, cards soon, hopefully. I know it's still resilient in terms of uh, how cold it is. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there are neighbors I play cards with, uh, and we just talk about stuff. Even even a little bit of movie stuff sometimes. So, they're they're, they're always they're, um, they're always pretty funny. So. Yeah. Oh, man, what episode of uh, Last Airbender are you? <laughs> like, uh, where? Well, at least, where are you? Not necessarily what episode. You probably are just playing them in the background. Because I mean, I, I think at that point, 
he knew it was either giving it up to them and making a ton of money or or he was going to hold on it onto it the rest of his life and i think that was that was the the, the choice he made and obviously I think at that point he had earned that right to just be like, "Hey, you can screw up the property if I want to, if you want to. You know, I'm gonna take the four four billion and run to the bank." You know. Well, I mean, what, what did they make on one of them? one billion on one of the freaking movies? So. Yeah, they, you know, I mean, it's, they, it's not a dumb decision. They probably made the right the right move. But, yeah, no, they uh, did. Uh, I'm not I'm not arguing they didn't do that. I'm just saying, he. There was no reason to involve, like, I guarantee you they wanted him to be involved. Because, I mean, let's be real, it would have probably garnered a lot more money if he was involved. Um, but I guarantee you he was like, nah, if I, not if I, if I don't have control, you know. I, I have to imagine that was something that was put on the table. I can't imagine they asked the guy who made Star Wars to not be involved in Star Wars initially. I guarantee you they went to them and said, we'd love for you to be involved. We'd love for you to make your final three movies. We'll give you all the the money in the world. We'll even get you, you know, some people to help you write it so it's better received in the prequels. But I guarantee you, it didn't. It, he he was like, nah, nah, bro. <laughs> uh, I actually like doing my movies my way. I mean, he's basically the the, the Frank Sinatra song to a T, just doing it his way. And even if it at the expense of some, you know, maybe some viewers. When it comes to rewatching things lately, because my watch list is so long, it's hard to justify rewatching something. Um, but uh, I, I like to have something on in the background when I'm going to bed. Yeah. So basically, as I know, prepare to get to bed, as I'm falling asleep, I just have something playing in the background. For a while, it was The Office, but then that was taken off of Netflix. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. I did, uh, what was it, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I uh, had that one playing for about a month or so. Yeah. But then after falling asleep to that, playing through the whole series like three or four times, I'm like, yeah, it's time for something new. So then I started doing after. Yeah, that that's probably something, uh. And I feel like Avatar is, like, better for your soul or something like that. <laughs> like, it's like, I don't know. It's just, like, it's very pure cinema, whereas I feel like, not saying anything against The Office or anything like that, but, like, I feel like those are more, like, you can veg out and just not even, like, think about it. But whereas, uh, mm-hmm. I think Last Airbender, there's, you're, you're getting some sort of cinema knowledge from it in some way. <laughs> I would agree with that, yeah. yeah. Learning from Lucas. I like that idea. I think that's something that we could definitely run with. Learning from Lucas man that's a we'll have to think about some more uh, ideas from that but i think there's a lot of that a segment like that could produce it's tied to lucas yeah you know you get that you get that name it's the pop type of idea you're going for you know you want to get people to yeah click on it but it's also uh something that we're, we feel passionate about you know yeah definitely i think that that could be something that uh Maybe we'll brainstorm some of those uh, this week and, and come up with some ideas. Um, that would be that would be really fun to, to talk more about this because I think that's something that's very potent. Um, it's just the way that he and I, he really ran the uh, his his films, and I think uh, I remember seeing what Jim Cummings say. You know, everyone wants to be the next grip. He said, and I want to be the next Lucas. And I was like, that, that really that stuck with me. It's like, how many people just want to go out there and are, are okay with being a grip or with being an extra, you know? Oh, man. It's freezing outside. I'm sitting outside right now just, just trying to get out of the, I don't know, the, the comfort of my uh, apartment. It's just a little bit too much. I've been in there, like, every day for, like, the last 30 days. <laughs> I, haven't really gone, I haven't really gone anywhere. I mean, where is there to go, really? Yeah, yeah. Although, um... I am going to Myrtle Beach, though. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, I think a couple of the um, movie theaters have start, started opening up again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Anything, anything interesting? Any, uh, like, reruns or anything? Anything good? I think a lot of it's reruns. Uh, some of it is... You know, the movies that were nominated. Yeah. Um, I do want to see Minari, the Korean one. 
Yeah. Uh, but when was it? It was this last Saturday. Yeah. Um, a coworker wanted to watch um, the Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah. Uh, Someone asked me so, a question on stream about that. I was like, I don't know anything about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I was like, they they were acting like I was some expert on it, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you have you played it? Uh, I've played not this last game, but the one that came out before. So uh, Mortal Kombat Ten. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he wanted to watch the the new movie that just came out, and so he invited a bunch of people. We rented a um a private screen at the theater so we had the whole auditorium to ourselves and just watched watch that that's cool uh, man this past saturday yeah that's awesome it was it was a fun movie i mean it's i mean it's kind of what you'd expect from a video game adaptation yeah uh, no there's not really a whole bunch of story to it no it's a very simple premise yeah nothing like life-changing as far as character development but it's just a good time you know yeah a good time no uh no alcohol required or unless you did have alcohol <laughs> uh i did not no i know a couple other people did but yeah. and some extra stuff not just alcohol but some some extra uh, <laughs> i i think I, I think i know what you're talking about Ed. um yeah yeah was it these people you went out with, you said from work, or was it just friends? Uh, a couple people were from work, uh, and then some of their friends. That's cool. When, when in all reality, they could, they could be the, you know, the main player if they, if they really wanted to. Well, that's the thing, and that's the lie, right? The lie is, hey, come here and, and, and sweep our floors and pick up, pick up our, our shit, you know, for, the, for 10 years, and then you might be able to... You might be able to have some, you know, higher status job. Yeah. And I mean, hey, Tarantino did it. Tarantino, Tarantino was went to the industry. He was, you would go, he would go to the beaches, pick up dog crap off the beaches for for sets. But at the same time, he was working on a script, and he made it. So he's, yeah, he's a living and, testament and, to how that can work. And everyone, you know, and I think those stories are further and further apart nowadays. But I feel like you you are right in the sense that. There are people who, you know, they go to Hollywood, they clean shit, and then they then they, they, they run the place. But I, I guarantee you, someone's cousin, uncle, or brother was involved in uh, helping them get there, you know. And, and, and it, it for every true wonder story, there's a lot of people that get, you know, abused, used, and, and or taken advantage of, unfortunately. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. So. For every one, there's 99,000. You know, so yeah, it's 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 a crazy it's a crazy game, man. It's a crazy world, just in general. Uh, I don't know. I think like this this Oscars night. It's the first time I literally. I mean, I religiously watch the Oscars, but I don't know. When I saw uh, Joel's video just about doing that, it's like, what, what's the point, man? What's the, what's the point? I I I speak so much about being against anti-Hollywood, but then I still watched the show. So then I was like, you know, this year, I'm not going to even watch it. I'm not going to even, I'm not going to even, I haven't, I watched 30 seconds because I accidentally turned the TV on and it was what came on. But other than that, I, I literally, I didn't even know who won, what was going on. And it's just like, I'm just so sick and tired of it. It just, it just, it makes you feel like crap, you know. It makes you just feel worse. <laughs> I think things are going to start getting better, man, getting out, and we're going to start being able to get out and make films and um, push uh, push things forward. I don't know. I feel, I, I'm starting to feel good that like things are going to start turning around very soon, and then we'll be able to get back to making movies, you know, not just, not just stuff in the apartment, you know. Yeah. Even if it is just that, that, I mean... For... You know, we'll, it'll be fine, but I would much prefer if we could get out of the apartment, you know. Yeah, yeah. So. Definitely. That's the goal, man. That's the goal. So. Well, dude, I don't want to keep you uh, on the line hanging forever. I assume you want to get back to your last airbender and a little bit of uh, maybe writing a review for Yee and. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's true. And I, I just don't. It only it only has a life if you care about it. You know, people keep caring about it, and I don't know. I just 
one day it just it wasn't not one day i don't think i ever enjoyed watching it like yeah uh, no it's yours let's see so i watched mortal Kombat. i watched uh, a movie that came out a few years ago um with michael fassbender it's called the snowman yeah i've heard about it it was all right it was good you need me to get the keys i was gonna just start tossing my keys but Mm. (laughs) 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 perfect (laughs) have a good one um sorry they were trying to get in i was gonna jump up but i didn't really know if they needed my help or not um i got you yeah. Any any criterions? Anything that might be in the, in your collection that that I might share? Because I, I need to get another one off that list. Right, right. You know, you never you never bought into it at the beginning. You know, and I think I only did because I don't know. I think I, I think when you're a kid, you're just so susceptible to those uh, the shiny trophy, the shiny gold trophy. I think you're you're so susceptible, and people tell you it's important. They tell you it. They say it, it, this has meaning. This has value. But like. Each year, the the worst films that get awarded, like, awards, only proves that there is less value to it each year. So, like, when I first saw it, it meant so much to me because I was like, wow, this gold award is given to the best films. And now it's like, it doesn't even really get given to the best films. It's just given to films that are just a perceivably, you know, the best as according to a bunch of uh, pretentious blowhards, you know. It's not even about what's truly the best. It's just about what. Um... Yeah, it's like a value of, of diamonds, man. Yeah. So they're only valuable because. People tell you there's some. Are. There's some. Yeah, yeah, people tell you they are, and there's some guy holding up them all. It's like. Yeah. If they're only valuable because of of that perception, which is, is which is funny because it's not like it's not. The Hollywood way, it is. Yeah. You know, that's that's it. Perception is reality. Yeah. In Hollywood, so. That's definitely you know. that's definitely the case, man. Um, I would I would totally agree with you. I think that. Uh, Black Orpheus. I I have to, I've been meaning to watch that one. It's in in my collection forever. I have seen. I actually watched it because it was mixed with it. Arcade Fire did a music video where they took the whole film and they synced it to the movie. So that maybe uh-huh. maybe that'll be good. So um, I'll probably watch okay. that. Um, but I'm gonna let you go because I'm gonna probably uh, either try to get a jacket or something. And then if you you go against that, if you say anything against that, or you try to be against that ide- ideology, then they, they they root you out of the ground. You know. But you know, let's be honest. It is fitting for an industry that you know, you're 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 manufacturing emotion. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. That's what you're doing. You're literally manufacturing emotion. So I, you know, it's you can understand. Surprised by that's the by the the fact that that's what how it is. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think either of us is is surprised at at how. how Hollywood acts and how it how it always kind of gets into the cycle of of taking advantage of people and then also you know manufacturing that sort of perception that these films are important and special and that you should care about what Francis McDormand or Meryl Streep should be doing when in reality they're just people like you and me uh, and I think that's 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 it. That's that's the statement. That's the that's the phrase on the on the top of the billboard. Is just they're just this, they're they're just slightly they're richer people that that have more access to bigger equipment. But if you gave the same big equipment to me or you or Doomed or RC or or any of these guys, yeah. When um yeah, so I'm I was at my sister's when we called the other night, yeah. and then um. I came back to my parents' house to grab a couple things for the shoot on Tuesday, and so I did bring the um, that copy of Trunking Express with me. Well, I mean, what would that be? That would that would that would that would definitely surely even the odds. And I think that as as technology is coming down, I mean, what 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 was Lucas's biggest gift to cinema, which was 
nonlinear editing, man. <laughs> he, he basically helped pioneer nonlinear editing. And he helped pioneer digital cinema, digital cameras. Why do you think he shot all the prequels on digital cameras? Why do you think they want, like, like why do you think they probably wanted him to shoot on film? Just keep the freaking legacy of it going and not letting, you know, people in. But Lucas literally, his dying breath was, hey, here's, here's the tools. I gave you the tools. I proved you can make Star Wars one of the biggest franchises on, the, on these new revolutionary tools. Go at it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. I, I think there's a lot to learn from Lucas, and, and talking to Cody was pretty, uh, he had some really cool things he was saying. I thought, like, I'll be honest, man, when I asked him about the future of folk filmmaking, or whatever you want to call it, man, he, I, I think he thought he knocked it out of the park. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I thought his answer was great. So, I really, really think that, um, when we have, when, when we have people on our side that are having answers like that, I have, I have I feel confident uh, I feel confident where we're going. Yeah. Uh, I was I, I figured no you'd probably that would be, be an seeing awesome idea Joel <laughs> again before me so I was gonna hand it. Oh oh no my phone just died oh my that's strange you serious did it die from the cold. Now wait. You just wait right there. <laughs> 